Good morning, guys. How's it going? Thank you for tuning in to another video here, Rush Shift. And today, well, today we're going to be shifting between both cars because I ended up breaking both cars' windshield within the past week. Now, this is kind of crazy to me because I have never had a broken windshield on any of my cars um, except for a rental. But uh, to get it on both my cars in the span of a week, it had to be something that I was doing. And uh, quite frankly, I kind of figured out that uh, I'm really the, the cause of these uh, rock chip and these windshield cracks that I, I keep causing myself. So let me tell you exactly what ended up happening. So I get to hang around a lot of cool cars. A lot of these guys are, are making good amount of power. And if you know anything about power and cars like these, uh, sometimes you, you know, stock tires don't cut it. So a lot of guys upgrade their tires. Um, some go extreme with uh, drag setups or, you know, drag tires. And drag tires are, you know, super sticky tires once warmed up, and they pretty much just pick up about everything on the road and throw it up in the air, um, especially when you're kind of cruising behind a 7, 8, 109 horsepower kind of Hellcat or car. It's just inevitable that it's going to be kicking up rocks, uh, especially when they get on it. So last week, I was heading over to a uh, local car meet, and I was cruising with a bunch of cars. Some of them were making good power, so they had uh, drag radials on them and uh, on the freeway i hear a big pop so i heard a pop wasn't sure exactly where it was until i got off the freeway the light hit it and i could see it uh it had broke my or cracked my windshield right uh towards like the the, the middle bottom end of it and uh yeah it was very noticeable crack uh so i looked up online there's repair kits that you can use to, to fix things up i ordered one and uh, it got here yesterday. So yesterday I had the Mustang out because I went to hang out with the boys. We went to grab some wings at night. I'm driving along, the Hellcat decides to do a pull on the freeway or as we're getting on the freeway. And what do you hear? I hear that pop again. And this time it's on the Mustang. Crazy thing is it happened exact same spot on both cars, which is really crazy to me uh, in the span of a week to get a crack on either windshield in the same spot. So. I'm going to go ahead and show you now what the cracks look like uh, or the rock chips on either car. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the Challenger has it a little worse than the Mustang. So we're probably going to end up starting with that. But here we go. We're going to show you both cracks real quick. So can you guys see that? Okay, so now that you've seen both the uh, windshields uh, and the rock chips or cracks, whatever you want to call it, uh, let me see. I need to show you guys the repair kit I picked up. Here we go. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you the repair kit. So here it is. It is a do-it-yourself windshield repair kit, 20-minute repair on windshields. You can do multiple cars. It's got like these little suction cups on it. Um, not sure if this is the best quality out there, but we'll give it a shot. Good for multiple repairs. I mean, it looks like a cheap kit. So I'm not sure if it's a really good kit or not, but if it's not, then we can just take it over to a specialist, have them do their thing on it. But I like to at least try to do things myself around here before I acquire the help of others. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out on the Challenger first. If that works, it works. If not, then we'll just let it be. Take it to a specialist, have them do their thing on it. So let's go ahead and knock out a cold start on the Challenger. I know you guys haven't heard it in a minute. So there she is. She's been sleeping for the past couple of days. So cold start should be good. Also, I need to do a plug. If you haven't already picked up your side boot keychains, I'm going to go ahead and leave them in the link in the description below. Pick them up, guys. Support the channel. The more side boot keychains we sell, the more I can do and provide content for you guys. And they're pretty dope keychains. 100% stainless steel. Jewelry grade, so they're not going to break or anything like that. So it's a, definitely a nice little piece. A lot of people notice it and compliment you on it. So pick one up on the website. They're like 12 bucks. Enjoy it. Anyways, let's go ahead and do a cold start. Get you guys a nice upfront view. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start off by cleaning the uh, windshield a little bit, especially the area we're working on. So I have some glass cleaner that we're gonna use. 
just to wipe it down so that we can work on it and then uh, once it's secured and stuff like that we'll actually wash the part so you're supposed to do this in the shade by the way so make sure that you're fixing it in the shade and not in, right out in the open okay so here's the kit that we're using so that's what it looks like and it's got everything you need in here so there's the resin I believe that we're going to be applying and here's a little contraption that we're using as well so this thing if I'm not mistaken is going to go ahead and sit on top of our cracked windshield just like so so you're going to secure that down like that then you'll use this little piece right here you'll thread this in and this is supposed to sit like flush with the crack that you have so you're supposed to get it as flush as you can so we're going to go ahead and make sure that it's positioned correctly because that's the most important part of this so i just want to make sure that it's sitting nice and flush on top of the uh the... alrighty so we're going to read the instructions as we go along Make sure we're doing this to the best of our abilities here. So here we go. First step is to clean the area with a dry towel and then insert the covering ring. We did that. And so you want to screw the resin chamber down, which we have also done. So you want to screw the resin chamber down until it touches the impact point, which it is. It's touching it now that's good next you want to squeeze resin into the chamber so I think we take this out yep and then we put some inside which we're gonna do right now okay so I put some in now we're gonna put this in here and start screwing it down now, I heard that tapping around the glass I'm gonna look at the inside make sure that it's going away so from the inside, it looks like it's moving out, which is good. But you just want to make sure that you're tapping around. Now, once that's done, you're going to tighten until the pressure is almost screwed all the way in. Check inside the car to make sure the rubber mouth has been opened wide. Allow the repair resin to be absorbed into the brakes. You want to kind of damage if you repair it. All right, then after six minutes, you're going to grab one of these babies right here. And you want to put a little bit of resin on and put this on so it cures properly. Um, and then you can scrape off the excess. So this is pretty much just getting all the um, surface, getting it to be like smoothed out. So you're, you're filling it in pretty much. All right, guys, I'm going to leave that sit for a couple minutes. I'm going to move it outside uh, just so that uh, it can kind of get a little bit of light, a little bit of heat. And hopefully it'll cure properly. So we're going to leave it there for just a few moments. Hopefully it cures up. And if it does, we're good. If not, then we might have to do something else. Alrighty guys, and just like that, we got both cars done. Now, I left both cars across the street in the sun so that they should uh, cure. You know, you have the resin cure in the cracks real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk over there, check on them, make sure they're curing properly. And also, um, if there's any excess, I'm gonna go ahead and scrape it off with the razor. So the Mustang I just finished up, so I'm gonna leave that. But we're gonna go look at the Challenger, see how that's doing. So here we go. Set you guys right here. You get a first hand view of the action. Okay, so now I'm gonna peel this back and the resin has fully dried now. And we can scrape off the excess. See how it's coming off? Is that just excess resin that we do not want on there anymore? Alrighty guys, can you even see it? I'm not sure if it's even noticeable. But it's like a tiny little, actually that's not even it. It's right there. 
but it's, it's really, you can't even tell on camera. It's so small. It looks like a small blemish. So I'll definitely take that over what it was before with that big crack that was gonna spread if you, you know, if I left it. So that's the reason you need it. As soon as you have a rock chip or a crack on the windshield, get it filled in as soon as possible. Try to fix it because if you let it sit, it starts getting worse and uh, it, get, it can get bad. So here we're gonna go ahead and look at the Mustang now. I think the Mustang actually came out a little better. So I'm pretty sure it feels like it's dried, which it has, cool. And now we just scrape it off. And bam, that's it. Alrighty guys, so that is pretty much the repair process. Both cars have been fixed, um, so no more you know, little rock chips or cracks going through them. Uh, I did both windshields at home. Total cost for this whole repair is like 15 bucks, I think. So it's definitely a very cheap repair to do at home. And the results are really good actually, especially for something like a home job, you can barely see, you really, it's so, so tiny. Before, I mean, you can definitely, it was there and you can notice it. So like I said, make sure you guys get this knocked out as soon as possible if you get a rock chip because if you leave it in there, it's gonna go ahead and crack more and expand and it could break your whole windshield, which will be a lot more expensive to fix than what we did today. So that is gonna be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. My name is Rush. There's my GT, there's my SRT. They're all fixed and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.